Well, we are here in New York City to see the movie Endless Love and to talk with its director, Mr. Franco Zeffirelli, and the two stars, Brooke Shields and Martin Hewitt. Hi. Hi. I hope you all are doing well today. Uh, Brooke, let, let's start with you. Good. <laughs> uh, you're playing a 15-year-old girl. Jade is her name. Mm -hmm. And you're 15. What, 16? Are you now 16? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, but in any event, uh, you are starring in a film that uh, you really wouldn't be able to see in, in our market because it's rated R. Mm -hmm. you, you would have to take your mother or someone, uh, an adult, with you. You believe me how we can get into movies. <laughs> All my friends have IDs. <laughs> exactly, and, and that's the point, is that um, that doesn't stop young people no. from, from going into R-rated movies. They have their ways of getting around that. But uh, what about uh, the movie dealing with a 15-year-old girl's sexual awareness and sexual experiences? Uh, do you think most 15-year-old girls, or 15-year-old boys for that matter, are ready for sexual experiences? I think it's a very individual thing um, because you can't put it, you can't really put a, a, an age on it. You can put legal ages on things, but as far as a mental age, it, that's very difficult to do. So it's a very individual thing. Um, you know, I have my own views and some of my friends have their own views, but um, I don't think that there's a certain age to be put on it. I think that it's a, Endless Love is a very good film because there are I know a lot of teenagers will be able to relate to it, and I think it'll help a lot of teenagers, as well as adults, to be able to see it. Is Brooke Shields at age 16, or even at when you were 15? 16 in two days. 16 in two days. Yeah. Is, is Brooke Shields, uh, could Brooke Shields handle a sexual relationship? I don't think so. I don't, first of all, I don't know, that's not what I believe in as far as my own self. I, believe, I would like to wait till I get married. And that's something I've always believed I might change my mind if and when I fall in love, which I haven't yet. But um, I don't think I'm ready at all. I'm not, see, I'm not even ready for something that's smaller than that, that's minor, with just, because it's all starting for me now. And I'm, it's, everything is so confusing and so crucial at this moment anyway that I just have to worry about my own other problems. <laughs> Are you? Are, you, are your decisions about this book based on your religious background? You're Catholic, aren't you? I'm Catholic. That It doesn't really... It's basically my own personal feelings. Um, I think maybe that the religion could have initiated something, but it's now really up to my own feelings myself. I mean, I, do, I am Catholic, and I do go to church, and, and I'm practicing Catholic, but it doesn't... They really are almost... You know, different. You don't feel there's a conflict between your Catholicism and playing this kind of role? Not at all, because see, there's a, I believe it myself, and I know that whatever I truly believe myself, it really can't be all that wrong if I truly believe in it and trust it. 